Hey guys, what's up? So I just got to Legend on EU with Quest Warlock and let's check out these stats out and analyze and how we could apply these stats to my main account which is in Americas and then we're gonna go play some games, okay? Alright, so what we wanna go over here is the mulligan win rate and the kept win rate. Um, if you look here if I arrange it like so, I do not know how the Demon Seed is a 63.3% mulligan win rate, um, but I've got a 62% win rate overall, so that doesn't make sense. I never mull the Demon Seed. Um, I want to sometimes against Hunter, but I've never done that, so I, I don't know this inconsistency. Okay, but the important thing is... <clears throat> I sort this out. This is mulligan win rate and my kept win rate. So somehow, every time Dreadlick Tamsin is in my hand, I win 100% of the games. But I I almost never keep it um, because it's a 6 drop. So what we want is maybe something that has a high kept rate and a high mulligan win rate. And we're going to apply that when I play some games. Okay, so that would be, I guess, these... I'll go for the, the above 60% ones, or at least 60% ones. Touch of the Nader Zim, Mortal Coil, Tour Guide. Basically the one drops. Soul Rend as well, because there are matchups that you don't know. For example, Druid, you want Soul Rend against Token Druid. You want Soul Rend against, I don't know, I keep it against Paladin. So this is going to be our general rule. General rule, I'll keep all of these, these four. Um, these would be very situational, but if I see these, I'll keep them. And of course, the Demon Seed. So let's see if this actually works. Um, this is over... Actually, this is 50 games, and I think that's good enough stats. But let's have to see for ourselves, okay? It also depends on how you play, but the mulligan is very important. But I think we could rely on these four, alright? So hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please subscribe. And I'll see ya. Alright, the stats I think were just for going first, but I think as a general rule, it's okay. Since we don't have them, um, let's just mull these two. So we want the, the Touch of the Nathazium tour guide. Um, and well, Mortal Coil, right? Okay, we ended up with Mortal Coil, but if this isn't aggro, it's useless. Ram Druid is actually a problem. So, I guess uh, the deck tracker continues to be the one used for some reason, even if you change your server. So the reason why this is 63 games is, well, it's 50 games for EU and I guess this is gonna be my 14th game using the same list on NA. Pretty weird. But anyway, let, let's trust the deck tracker stats. Okay, this is some sort of aggro hybrid. I'm gonna keep so the Shadow Blast for later because I might want to destroy a bigger threat than this Claw Fury Adept. Okay, now this one. This one's a bigger threat. Ah, this is unfortunate. I think I have to destroy it. So I will. This is uh, actually a bad hand. We want... I don't know. Okay, this is bad. We need... um. Solar and here we got it. Uh, let's pretend that we want to actually destroy this. Might overcommit, and this gets to, to trade or tempt the opponent to trade. Yeah, this is fine. We've got the solar end. I'm actually not um, usually for this deck. The only thing I really don't want to get milled is stamps in Rome. And of course the bristlebacks, but if it's just one bristleback that gets milled, it's fine for me. 
Yeah, two attempts in a row. That's so bad. But doesn't mean we're automatically um, going to lose. It's just that it sucks. Stamps in Rome, I believe, is what makes this deck really, well, not really work, but like, gives it a high chance of winning. But anyway, um, we got to destroy a bulk of the opponent's resources, so that's pretty good. Oh man. I think I just destroyed the peasant. Just, you know. No, wait, I could destroy both of them. Um, but. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, mind fart. Mind block. There we go. Forgot about the mortal coil. Yeah, I think we win this one already. So. I guess you could kinda still follow the Aegis replay stats. I didn't follow it to the dot, uh, I just analyzed it a while ago. And yeah, we're good. We get to race that the Bristleback, that is awesome. Alright, so it's really it's really Soul Ren that gave me the edge here to be honest. Of course it would have been better if I had Dams and Rome right now, it's just super overkill. Let's just do this. Yeah, we just win this game. It'd be so hard to counter this. Alright. Let's see the next game um, and still apply the HS replay Captain Mulligan win rates. Alright. Awesome. Alright, it's another druid. I like Tamsin Rome, just like I said in the previous game, but not on my opening hand that much. I'll just keep the tour guide, then we, we have to pray there's a soul rend if it's another token type druid. Ram druid, nothing I will do, it's a bad matchup. Um, I'm looking win rate for altar of fire, it's pretty low. 37.5%. So... But it doesn't mean we're gonna lose here automatically. Okay, it looks like Ram Druid. Oh, but there's so the soil. Okay, it's probably some okay nice. If it's aggro, we've got Soul Ren. So usually on if I'm um on a coin, I tour guide before doing the thing. Or even going first, but if you think your opponent has trog, it's very unsafe to do that. Just go for the demon seed on your turn once. Going first, that is. I'm fine to alter a fire now if I have nothing better to do. So anything but Dams in Rome, I guess. Or the second Soul Ram. We got one Bristleback. Um, Okay, the Frost was Wolf Kennels was the decent mill here. The the other two not so much. You could just kind of coin out the Soul Rand next turn. Oh man. Or let me think about this. Maybe it's okay not to. I don't want to backfire. Um. Wait, I could risk the backfire, my opponent doesn't have the coin. Initial thoughts was not to, but fine, let's go backfire, and we can soul ran next turn. So the enemy here would be a cult neophyte if they have it. That's just a huge tempo loss for me if they have cult neophyte. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Oh no, it's gonna ramp, oh no, this is gonna pump, right? Anything but Cult Neophyte, we're good. Yeah, we could mill this all. They have refill though, because these have composting. 
but I hope we survive long enough. I think we will, because we're gonna be down to 11 cards, then the next turn... Uh, oh, it milled the Tams in Rome again. Gonna be down to the 11, and then we have the Bristleback. But they keep m milling Tams in Rome, it's so, so unfortunate. Reflect in the oh, this is scary. I think this is fine. Um, Alright, I have to shadow left this one. I think I'll coin out um, the taunt. Boom. Okay, we still have one more soul ren. I don't want to mill that. So slow with the quest here, but... Survival is the name of the game if you're being aggroed out. Because basically that's that's how you lose. Against control, um you kinda win most of the time unless they have tons and tons of armor. Against aggro, aggro is your worst matchup. Even with tons of heal, it, it's hard, like especially against face hunter. If you don't stabilize, um you're just dead and especially if you have lucky draws. But anyway. Oh wow, this is interesting. Uh, I could dams in, but I want to finish my quest. Raise that would be nice if I draw it. I did not. Ah, oh, I don't want to alter a fire. I'll just let one live. I don't want to alter fire now. Because still want to have those three deads handy. Okay, could be the second arbor up. Uh, arbor up's gonna be fine. Um, we have Dreadlick Tamsin, we still have Soul Rend in the deck. Reflect in the moon. Okay. The seed lord be its own treasure. Yeah, we still have um Damson in the deck, so this is fine. But if this 8-8 eight eight somehow the dies, it's not gonna be fine. Because the balloon would survive. And, uh, okay, we're good. I'll raise it now because I don't want this to be in the pool. I want the um Friends, uh, sorry, I wanted the bristle back. Oh, cool, I don't have to attack this here. Let's just stamps in now. Then Shadow Blade Slinger, the 2 4. I milled the Battleground ba Battlemaster a while ago. Okay, yeah. We just read this game, right? Actually, I could use touch just to put the uh, this one down, and we're cool. All right, so it's still working. Yes, HS3 play is a bit accurate. I mean, I know it's accurate, but to an extent, it, there are a lot of other factors to take into consideration. Let's play some more games. Alright, Mage has been my worst matchup for the past um, 65 games. It's 33% win rate. I keep losing the Mage. Um, it would be worse if any of them were Mazaki. Probably be 0%. But 100% of these were actually Hero Power Mage. Hmm. Yeah, they could just break through my defenses. Mask of Cthulhu plus the Dawn Grasp thing. Repeating, then you have more Dresh. It's pretty hard to go against. If I don't get another one drop, I am gonna alter a fire. Here we go. So, oh, it got Tamsin Rome again. But at least we got more Dresh. Oh, I am. Unlucky with these statue drums. 
Okay, if we get Dawn Grasp or Mask of Kasun and they only run one, we're good. From if we get it from the second altar of fire. But now let's backfire first. Pretty good. So only one minion died. Um, usually I am very aware or I take note if I can that only one minion died, your race dead is not getting maximum value. So most of the time I don't do it, but it's still again very situational. Just finish the quest line here. Oh nice. Might as well touch the Natrizim. Heal up. We don't have the Tam syndrome anyway, always gets milled. But uh, yeah, we want the Altar of Fire to get another key card. It's good that we got more Dresh down, so I take into consideration that my life is always minus 10 when they haven't played more Dresh yet. Now we don't have to. Okay. Just don't mill both bristlebacks and we're good. It okay, didn't mill a single bristleback. Now we don't have Solrand, but I guess Hysteria could still clear a pretty big board. Okay, we got the Mask of Kasun. If they only run one, I think we're safe. A bit. You get accustomed to the smell. Hmm. Tough choice. I'll go for this. We're speeding through the uh, um the deck. Uh, we don't have backfire anymore, so it's gonna be hard to OTK when we finish the part three of the quest. And I think I'm gonna raise that soon. So yeah, I don't know. I hope we win. Of course, we always hope we win. Okay, uh, raise that. Uh, Get the bristle back. It's pretty bad. Um, Obviously, I never miss. Man. So I want the raise that to still be able to get the bristle back. But I won't reset yet. Okay, they don't, they don't have a second copy of Mask of Bethune. We're pretty much fine here. Stay where you are. I have an idea. But yeah, we still need to keep healing up. This one's killer. Bristleback perhaps. We have 40% chance to get one. Get it. Oh no. Let's be patient or I could damn sin. Get some 3 3 sin. There's no more dress anyway. And then we could flash giant. Still seems pretty legit. 20 is a high enough life. We're not giving this room to honorable kill. Uh, there would be a chance if, you know, they exact damage the flesh giant with four, but I still think I have to put it down. Okay. is just freezing the target. Now we have the target for Bristleback. <clears throat> I will crush your delusions of grandeur. I'm almost out of cards. For both Bristlebacks, actually. Blood is my Please. 
Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, oh no, wait, that was bad. If I mortal coil. Do I mortal coil? Yeah, it's not as efficient as I wanted it to be. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it's still fine. So next turn, when we draw, we finish part two of the quest. I can't take them. Wait, not all of them. Oh, did it honorable kill anything? I don't think so, right? But that is painful. I hope we erase that a bristleback because then we don't have any more heals. <laughs> we have one green soul left. Oh nice, okay, beautiful. Oh, should have done this instead of Drain So, uh, instead of. Oh man. What is taking so long? But we could force finish this now, then just drop. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Then just go Damson this turn. So I hope I survive 22 damage. I mean, there is no more drift. Problem is, we don't have card draw anymore. So it's not gonna be a one turn kill next turn. This was a bad race dead, but we'd always win games if our race dead 100% gave back bristle back, so... Oh, I'm scared, he's gonna face. This is a nice barrier, uh, we gotta win through card draw. So we have, yeah, we have one more turn. So that does not attack. If we attack, we lose. I, I can't control. Okay, we're good here. I'll just put everything down, just in case there's a second mask of Cthulhu. Then we just draw for the win when my turn comes. All right, awesome. Hmm, they don't give armor right so, oh but he has a second chance but i don't know it's i still win this one even if gets that um nine drop spell he's gonna put the second one now there you go but yeah i don't see there's no ice block in standard so we're good game okay we kind of locked out on the mage in the previous game it's not always gonna be like that uh, the altar fires just really have to do the work against the mage matchup if the opponent did not mill the mordresh and and the mask of kasoon it's really gonna be different for me probably most likely lost that game a while ago yeah, we have to rely on Altar Fire to improve our chances here. This is Mazaki, I'm just dead if I don't mill Mazaki. 
But out of seven games, there haven't, there hasn't been a Mazaki yet. Oh, wait, there was one. It was Quest Mage with Mazaki. I think there's a hybrid deck like that. Yeah. All uh, the rest were all Hero Power Mage. Oh man, this is Mazaki. We have to mill Mazaki, or we're dead. If it's hand, we're in, in hand, we're just dead. I got a cram session though. It's one of the engines to help Mazaki, but still, I think I lose this matchup. So I want to get the second altar fire fire as early as I can so we could determine if we actually have a shot. We got a mana biscuit and the cram session though. The multicaster is not that much of a threat. If we get um encounters flow that would be great as well. But we need to get both. Alright, still no Alder of Fire. I could consider Coin Tamsin next turn. Coin Red like Tamsin, I don't know. Depends. If they hadn't counters flow, they would have cast it already. Have we played right now? It's been three games. Good backfire instead. I'm gonna backfire even if it's off by one, um, over by one. So I just really want to get to the Alder Fire early. The second Alder of Fire. Come on, just. Oh, wait, that was a mistake. I do not want to risk any chance of milling the Alder of Fire. But this is scary, although, um, I haven't drawn Encanter's Flow, which is surprising. <laughs> Means Mazaki's probably here. It's scary. But small probability, but But I think since I'm not doing anything Hmm Encanter's flow would have been Magic. automatic. Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, let's hope to draw. Oh, he's looking for hand space. Let's hope to draw the altar fire. Come on. Yes, we got it. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a no-brainer. Please get Mozaki. Come on. Yes, we got Mazaki. Okay, this is this is most likely we win this game. Most likely, could still lose, but they haven't encounters flow yet, so the ignite cycle is gonna be really hard. And the important thing is we got Mazaki. Okay. It's 
So part two still quite far. Still have race dead though. So he's gonna rely on ignite now. Yeah, I could still lose. Um, there is a strong possibility. But I like my odds. Haven't heard of me. Oh, I can't test it. Ah, well, I don't think they have Mask of Kasun. Hopefully not, right? Yeah, I don't think they do. But we gotta heal up and heal up. I think that was a misplay. But yeah, they have cast the Encanter's Flow the previous turn, so we could still get Ignite comboed, but not as fast, of course, as when they had a Mazaki. Okay, if I go Dreadlick Tamsin, we're gonna take 5. Wow, decisions here. I wish younger. I just got a race dead, right? My cards. Man. But it's okay. We could have a bit of patience here. Naturally, draw one next turn for part two. I don't know, this is still scary. We didn't mill any ignite, so it's actually still honestly scary. And wants to pump it up. But they have an awkward cram session here. They, they might die if they cram session. If they're pushing for spell damage plus ignite. Wait, do I get OTK? They don't think so, right? Wow, not sure if I get OTK'd, man. Oh my god. And they still have... Oh my god, they still get OTK'd. This deck is insane. Okay, uh, they still have Biscuit. Okay, um, we got a super heal up. But... I can't do that, to be honest. I can't super heal up. We've got no more refreshing spring water. I don't want to risk the race dead, but I think I have to. But hmm. oh man, strike! Yeah, strike wanted the race dead. There's a small chance of getting the bristle back, but it's a risk versus reward kind of thing. But yeah, I, I still see myself dying. Hmm. So, I guess this is where the streak ends. But he's considering killing this. I think they still have one flurry though. Or he was counting... If I if I lose, yeah, I don't. I've got no more heal. But I know they still have one flurry. They have no more card draw. That's the thing. Wow, it's so awkward.
Nice. Okay, this is a very risky play. I'm gonna take 4 down to 5. I'm gonna be down to 11. Down to 11. Risky play. I could wait till later. Yeah, I'm gonna risk this. Forgive me if I lose this game. But they have no card draw, right? Alright, down 11. Here we go. Hope to survive. We win next turn with Damson. This all going face, I see it. But how much is their ignite right now? Okay, we're kind of looking out. Oh, I think we did. Um, six plus six, yeah, we're six plus seven. We still lost the game. Good effort though. I uh, still would have lost even if I didn't do the play or actually no. I would have won. Or I would have survived. But anyway, the streak ended there. That was two wins away from the boss fight. Um, I gotta go, but that was a good four games. Um, I'll get to Legend with this later. And if you enjoyed the video, I know it's quite long, but please consider subscribing. And I'll see you again next time.